So what am I doing here? This is uh, an experiment, I guess. This is kind of just a test to see if uh, people are interested in this kind of stuff. I, for one, am interested in watching people do uh, toy hunts, haul videos, vlogs. Hey, what's going on everyone? So we are finally doing this. Welcome to episode 300. I shot my first episode, I think it was June 24th of 2016. And 300 episodes later, here we are. So I wanted this to be something special. I wanted it to be different from uh, my regular episode. So what this is, is a very, very long episode with probably one of, if not, my largest toy hauls of my entire channel. I didn't buy all this stuff all at one time. This is stuff that I've kind of been accruing for the past few weeks. I'm gonna show you what I got. We're gonna unbox a lot of this stuff. I'm gonna show you this, some of this stuff out of package. So let's get started. I might have to uh, spend a couple days recording this. So first things first, I did pick up a single G.I. Joe. As most of you know that watch my channel, I'm very fond of G.I. Joes. And I did pick up one that uh, I've been wanting for quite some time now. I have been wanting a club exclusive Footloose figure. Uh, there's a couple of the club figures that I've been very, very much uh, after. Footloose, Dial Tone, Iceberg, Frostbite, to name a few. And I did finally pick up a Footloose figure, but it's not the one that you probably think I got. This one is a Slaughter's Marauders Footloose. Not the uh, original club exclusive Footloose that I've been wanting, but I did get one finally in my collection. And I do love those Slaughter's Marauders colors. And uh, at the end of this video, when I've unboxed everything and I'm showing you comparisons and whatnot, I'll bring out some of his fellow Slaughter's Marauders to show you how he looks with those guys. But I did pick up Footloose. He was complete with file card and he looks freaking amazing. So everybody cut Footloose. I did pick up a couple of these guys. These are Motu Classics Ultimates figures from the Filmation line. These are my first two Filmation Motu Classics figures. And I got Ultimate He-Man and Ultimate Skeletor. And let's go ahead and do this. I don't know if I'm going to open these up out of the actual packaging themselves, but I will take them out of the shipping thing right now and show you what they look like and all of their beautiful glory on this amazing, amazing vintage looking card. Look at that. That is gorgeous. He-Man looks like he has a, a little bit of a body oil on him, like he's on Muscle Beach or something, but uh, he's cool. He is uh, straight out of the cartoon and he comes with some alternate heads, laughing head, crazy looking robot head. Uh, was out in the sun too long and had sunglasses on head, but he's pretty freaking cool By the power of Grayskull. I have the power. There's he man. I Do still need this laughing at him. Uh, they are doing a regular issued uh, Filmation style Prince Adam, which I think I'm probably gonna pick up I'm not gonna go in and buy all of the Filmation figures, but a lot of the main figures especially the ones that are like so expensive in the regular Motu Classics line, I'll probably pick up. So for example, like Fisto, I'll probably get him in the uh, Filmation. Um, who's the other one? Roboto. Some of the really super expensive figures that are just uh, too pricey. And then I got Skeletor and he looks freaking amazing. I actually think I like the Skeletor more than the He-Man. Look at that Skeletor. I love this laughing head sculpt right here. That is awesome. And he comes with the axe, and the sword, and the, does he come with the staff? The staff, right there. He looks awesome. I really want to buy another one of these to take out of package. I might do that. Um, Big Bad Toy Store, I think, has them for 50 bucks right now. I should have probably ordered two of each, right, Will? Who's uh, scratching right now and making noise in the background. By the way, you guys have, that have been with me since the beginning, you've seen a lot of change over the past three years. I started this thing again, June 24, 2016. I started looking at some of my old videos. I mean, you saw Will 
as a puppy when I first got him. You were with me before I got that dog. You were with me when my girls were like toddlers. So you've seen a lot of change for those of you that are um, old school Cincy nerd watchers, viewers, friends of the show. You guys have seen a lot over 300 episodes. Uh, sorry if I'm getting a little nostalgic here, but it's a milestone for me. I didn't. I never thought that I would do 300 freaking episodes of this thing. So there's Skeletor. There's shiny ass He-Man. Looking like he just slathered himself in butter. Uh, I'm probably not gonna take those out of package, so that's what you'll see of those guys. Uh, but let me get to the rest of the stuff. So I did buy two WWE, WWE Elite figures. I collect a lot of stuff. If this is your first time watching my channel, you'll know that I do collect a lot of stuff. There's a lot of lines that I collect. A lot of people just collect Marvel Legends. Some people just collect Hot Toys. I collect a little bit of everything. So uh, WWE is a passion of mine. I've been watching this for a long, long time. I took a little break, but I came back during the Attitude Era and during like the NWO era, and especially when Goldberg was kicking some butt in WCW. Anyway, I got Batista. So this is a, uh, I bought this one loose, and he does not uh, come with any accessories other than his elbow pads and knee pads because uh, he is decked out in tattoos. I mean, look at these tattoos. This uh, selfie mode is not doing this thing justice. I do need to actually get a camera. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to actually get a camera uh, as opposed to using my cell phone. I'll probably use my cell phone during the hunts and stuff, but for something like this, when I do something like this, I want you to see the detail. But uh, I will show you these things. I'm going to take this guy out, Kofi, out also, and I'll show you him. He doesn't come with any accessories either. Just notice that. Just notice that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take him out of package. I'll show you these guys up close so you can see the detail because these tattoos, freaking insane. Insane how much detail they did in these tattoos. And it's not just the back. He has it on his leg. I mean, let's see if you, look at that. He has it on his arms. Batista uh, has invested some money in tattoos, that's for sure. I'm gonna show you this thing up close and personal later on in the video and you'll see all the detail in this figure but this is a fantastic figure I got this for a deal at Game Runners shout out to those guys anyway I got Kofi because Kofi's gonna be a uh, WWE champion soon prediction you heard it here probably not first but uh, there's Kofi and again uh, no accessories other than the vest it comes with the vest uh, but it's a nice paint job with the uh, red white and blue on there so I'll take him out of package <clears throat> later on in the video, but uh, two WWE Elite figures. Moving on to Transformers. I am uh, loving the Transformers Siege War for Cybertron line, and I picked up a few bots. So here we go. These are all Decepticons that I picked up. I am dropping stuff left and right. Um, starting with Starscream. So there is... Our favorite sniveling sidekick, Starscream, looking awesome. I really love these Siege robots. Uh, I, I love them even more after seeing Bumblebee because this line reminds me of the opening scene of Bumblebee. I know that they're not connected, but just seeing the bots on Cybertron with their G1 looks and then this line, Siege, War for Cybertron, where they are fighting on Cybertron, they have kind of a Cybertronian look. I mean, he's a freaking Tetrajet. Look at that. For those that are not aware, before Starscream and Thundercracker and Skywarp came to Earth, this was the form they had on Cybertron. They were Tetrajets. That's awesome. That's so freaking cool. I love this. This guy was in. So was this guy. This was this guy was in the opening scene for Bumblebee. This guy was definitely in the opening scene for Bumblebee, and he looked freaking boss. And his name is Soundwave. And he looks freaking awesome. And I can't wait to take this thing out of package and show you guys what he looks like up close. He's got weathering. This dude's been in a war. I don't know if he actually has a tape recorder form or if his alt form is just that spaceship. Sometimes when these um, bots that are, have the G1 robot look, their alt form, while it's like a spaceship, can still resemble their old alt form. Like for example, this next guy you're gonna see, um, who transforms into a spaceship can actually be interpreted as a laser gun. So there's a spoiler for the next figure you're gonna see. 
So I'm not sure if you can actually transform this thing to look like a tape recorder, but there's his alt form, it's a spaceship. And then for those that uh, figured it out, there is Shockwave. My last video, I think I asked the question, is this thing worth 50 bucks? I still don't think it's worth 50 bucks. I think I overpaid for it, but I'm glad I got it. And um, what kind of sold me, first of all, I don't like this look here where he's got four arms. I think that looks kind of silly. But I do like this look right here where he's basically like on a jet sled, almost like a surfboard. I think that's cool. That's kind of what uh, swayed me to picking this up. Again, it should be like 40 bucks. I think 50 bucks is too much. Uh, 50 bucks is also too much for that G1 Prime, but um, I'm definitely gonna pick that one up eventually. Hopefully it comes down in price. But here's Shockwave, looking very G1-esque. Siege, or for Cybertron, this is a leader class bot. And uh, again, you'll see that later on when I unbox all these suckers and show you them uh, next to some other figures. What do we got next? Marvel Legends. So I picked up all five of these figures at Walgreens because uh, quite frankly, during the month of March, they have an awesome sale, $13.99 for a Marvel Legends figure. Couldn't pass it up. Especially for the Walgreens exclusive Mystique. She comes with the uh, half rogue head where she's kind of shape-shifting into rogue. She comes with the Lilandra head which uh, a lot of people are using that head on the silver sable body and making a little Landra figure. And some people are using the cape, I think from Black Knight. It's like a bluish cape. But there's Mystique, she's coming out of package. So I got Grey Gargoyle. He's fought like the Avengers, he's fought the Fantastic Four. I think he started as a Thor villain. He's gonna go on the Spidey shelf. And the next three are uh, from the Captain Marvel movie, so I got the regular Captain Marvel, this is the one that does not come with a bath piece. It just comes with the mohawk head, the uh, Carol Danvers, Brie Larson head, a couple extra hands. There you go right there. I will be picking up the binary exclusive when Walmart gets that one. I already picked up the uh, Star Force exclusive from Target. I got good old Nick Fury. I loved Sam Jackson in the movie. He was awesome. And I loved Goose. Goose the cat was awesome. And then I got Talos, Ben Mendelsohn's. Ben Mendelsohn, by the way, fantastic actor. For those that don't know, Ben Mendelsohn was the guy that was director Krennic in Star Wars Rogue One, and he killed it as uh, Talos the Skrull. Those are the legends, the Motu classics, the WWE elite. Oh, I forgot this one, Emmett's Dream House. So for those that have seen the Lego movie, you recognize this little house. He had a dream, he just wanted to live contently, in this little house, this picturesque little house in the desert, uh, and it was frickin' so cute. Plus, if you've seen the movie, Emmett does use this thing to go out into space. Minor spoiler alert, but uh, the house can also be displayed as his little house spaceship. So, very frickin' cool. This is 706 pieces. Uh, the girls were really, really excited to see this thing. I kept it uh, hidden from them and took it out right before I started filming this and they saw it and they started jumping up and down. So really excited to build this uh, Emmett's house with them and uh, display it as kind of like the centerpiece in our little Lego city. Let me clear this stuff off the nerd bar because I have some larger items to show you now. All right, I am back and uh, I have some one six scale and larger stuff to show you here. I have six 1-6 scale figures to show you here, uh, two of which are third-party figures, one of which is by Mondo, one of which is by Sideshow, and two of which are by Hot Toy. So let's get to the third-party ones first. So, for those that are not aware, the Fox movies, they have not produced a lot of licensed figures for. Hot Toys has done a few Wolverines, but they didn't produce anything for the Logan movie, and the Logan movie, is one of my favorite movies, period, of all time. And it's definitely one of my favorite superhero movies of all time. So if you wanted to have a 1-6 scale of Logan from the Logan movie, you had to buy third party, and that's what I did. This is by Susu Toys. And for those that are not aware, Susu Toys is the one that also made uh, the Days of Future Past Quicksilver figure, which I have in my collection. And I'll actually show you that one next to this one when I unbox this one. But this is Logan, one last time. This is a 1-6 scale Logan figure. Uh, and then here is the internal 
box art right there. Very, very bloody and cool. Can't wait to show you this one out of package. I also picked up, and it's a shame that Hot Toys did not capitalize on the popularity of this movie and the popularity of this character. But this is uh, a character played by Josh Brolin, not named Thanos. And this is Cable from Deadpool 2. And this one is by Toys Era. And uh, obviously, if it's third party, they don't have the rights to use the name Cable. So it's actually called The Mechanical. But when you see this thing out of package, this thing is insanely cool. And it looks just like Josh Brolin. I did buy a Mondo figure, and this is my first 1-6 scale Mondo figure. And if you can tell what that is, that is the door for Castle Grayskull. But this is a 1-6 scale He-Man figure. So this is fully licensed by Mondo. They did a 1-6 scale, a 12-inch He-Man Masters of the Universe figure. Look at that box art. So I will show you this one out of package. He looks amazing. He looks truly amazing. It makes me really, really excited for the rest of the figures that Mondo is going to be producing from Masters of the Universe. They're doing a Faker. They're doing a Merman. They're doing a Skeletor. All of the figures that they have shown have looked amazing. And now that I actually have the He-Man in hand, I am so absolutely excited for the rest of this line. So you'll see this one out of package. I did buy a Sideshow Luke Skywalker. And for those that watch my videos, you might be thinking to yourself, why did you buy that when you already have the Hot Toys version of Jedi Luke? And there's a very specific reason why, and you'll see why when I take this out of box and show you this thing out of box. He has multiple ways to be displayed. Again, this is made by Sideshow. This is not a Hot Toys figure. So it's different, different kind of body looks different, but I do like Sideshow's products a lot. One of my favorite things in my entire collection is a Sideshow figure. It's the Sideshow Hoth Luke on the Sideshow Tauntaun. I also have the Sideshow Luke Skywalker in his X-Wing pilot outfit from A New Hope. Uh, so I kind of wanted to complete the trifecta and get a Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker by Sideshow. And I chose this one because you can display it like this with this little flap down, which is magnetic. You can display it like this with his little tunic on where he's at the um, Sarlacc pit. You can display it with the cloak on where he enters Jabba's palace and the way that I have it displayed, which you're gonna see it later on in this video. You can display it in his Endor gear. So I loved it when uh, Luke was on Endor and uh, he was on the speeder bike. I know Hot Toys is doing an Endor Luke, but again, I already have two Sideshow Lukes I kind of wanted a third one, just to have one from each movie in the original trilogy. So, Sideshow Luke right there. You will see that one out of package. This one right here is a Hot Toys figure. And it is a Civil War Captain America figure. This is not the exclusive. The exclusive has like uh, claw marks from Black Panther on his shield. And then like a really intricate base. This one is just the standard version. But I did get it because I loved Civil War. I didn't like Civil War at first when it first came out. But the more I watch it, literally every time I watch that movie, I love it more. So uh, I got the Captain America. He is currently being displayed with Bucky and Falcon. But you will see that one out of package. Awesome looking cat figure. Not my favorite cat figure in my collection, but it's definitely one of my favorites. And then the last 1-6 scale figure that I purchased is... Keanu Reeves, Neo from The Matrix. And look at that box. I'm a huge fan of The Matrix movies, especially the first Matrix movie. Again, one of my favorite movies of all time, the first Matrix movie. The other two were pretty good, but I just love the first Matrix. So those are all the one six scale figures. I do have a very, very large figure to show you now. This is more so a statue. It's made by Sideshow. I haven't bought one of these in a while. I really only have one in my entire collection. I have a Batman, but now I have two in my collection and it is a premium format figure. And this is the Bespin Luke Skywalker, premium format by Sideshow. Got this one at Comics to Games, so shout out to Comics to Games. Luke Skywalker is one of my favorite characters. Empire Strikes Back is my favorite movie of all time. And it looks amazing. And then the box is gigantic. But now, I'm gonna show you 
I've got Mezcos. A lot of you tuned into this uh, episode just to see the Mezcos. It's a very large Mezco haul. Uh, and then I also have a couple P.O. Box pickups, some, uh, some gifts from some people. And then I also have some Star Wars stuff. So let me show you the Star Wars stuff, the Mezco stuff, and then we're gonna unbox everything. All right, welcome back. I cleared off the nerd bar here and put uh, some Star Wars stuff and uh, a butt ton of Mezcos on here, so. Let's get to it. I finally picked up this vintage collection. This is a three and three quarter inch scale TIE fighter. This is the Walmart exclusive Imperial TIE fighter. I got this one from the toy department, so shout out to those guys. Love the packaging for these three and three quarter inch vintage collection. I really regret not getting the sale barge. People are starting to get their sale barges. Uh, I know Toy Bill's got his. He's been sending us pictures. He unboxed it. It looks freaking amazing. And then I did pick up a couple of six inch Black Series figures. Uh, these guys I uh, have been kind of picky with, the six inch Black Series. I've really tried to focus on the three and three quarter inch. So I figure if I'm gonna collect these six inch Black Series figures, might as well try and get all the figures from this specific movie. So I got Woody Harrelson's character, Tobias Beckett. And he looks really awesome. Uh, they have the digital face printing technology, and that right there looks just like Woody Harrelson. Very, very awesome resemblance there. Very cool figure. And then I got Rio Durant, our favorite four-armed alien, who didn't last very long, but was voiced by the very, very great John Favreau. Very awesome. There's Rio. Looking a little sleepy. Rio looks a little tired there. He might be dying right there. But I got that one. These are coming out of package. The rest of this stuff is an insane Mezco collection. So I'm gonna speed through this because you don't wanna see the boxes. You wanna see these things out of package. But I'll at least show you which ones I picked up here. Starting with this exclusive Mezco Catwoman figure. So this is a Mezco exclusive. This is a purple Catwoman figure. I got this one from my friend, Josh Pence. We did a trade and I got Batman Beyond. This is another Mezco exclusive. I got one from a movie from Thor Ragnarok. It is the Thor, the Gladiator Thor from Thor Ragnarok. I got a Star Trek Mezco figure. This is amazing right here. This is Mr. Spock. This is uh, the Mr. Spock Mirror Mirror episode where basically uh, part of the crew goes down to a planet and when they get beamed back up, there's a magnetic storm uh, in between the Enterprise and that planet and the magnetic storm messes with uh, the transporter and part of that crew gets beamed to an alternate dimension, like an alternate universe, where the crew uh, of the Enterprise is evil, including Spock. So this is the evil version of Spock. Uh, I got this one right here, classic movie, Clockwork Orange, Alex DeLarge. I took a film study class in college and we studied this film. It's such a masterfully directed movie, so I got Alex DeLarge. Black Panther, I got the Black Panther from Black Panther. And here he is. Ash from Evil Dead 2. I'm a huge fan of the horror comedy genre. Bruce Campbell as Ash is a perfect example of horror and comedy mixing together beautifully. I sound like a frickin' film snob now. Uh, here's Dawn of the Dead. I got the, this is the two pack that I was talking about. This is the zombie two pack. So it's the plaid shirt zombie and the flyboy zombie from Dawn of the Dead. Here are the two zombies here. There's the flannel shirt zombie, or plaid shirt, I think they call them. And then there's the flyboy, the one that came out of the elevator and the zombies were waiting to get someone that was gonna come out of the elevator. And as soon as the door opened for the elevator, uh, he was already a zombie and he turned his eye and the zombie saw that it was another zombie and it wasn't food So they just turned around But like there was so much attitude in his eyes like yeah, I'm a freaking zombie go away It's just an awesome scene. I got uh, Justice League Batman. This is a tactical suit Batman I got this one because I picked up the Aquaman. I love the Aquaman figure. This Batman looks amazing. He looks awesome This is dark side he comes in a tin box. Let's see if I can show you this one, the package up close. I'm gonna unbox all this stuff, show you this stuff one by one. We're gonna showcase the crap out of it. Let's start unboxing this stuff. All right, I got all the Mezcos unboxed. I'm gonna run through these and show you these things up close. I do not have all of the accessories out, but I do have some of them out. 
So I'll show you some of the different head sculpts and whatnot, but I don't have all the little hands and stuff out. But uh, let's get started with this guy right here. This is Thor from Ragnarok. Here is his face on this head sculpt. Very nice paint apps all around. You can see like the uh, brush effect on the swords. And you can see the paint on the torso there, down the leg, and on the shin guard there. But here's the other two head sculpts. You have the regular unhelmeted head sculpt, and then you have the one with the uh, kind of lightning eyes. Then you have these additional weapons here. He has the uh, mace, the shield, and then the two swords which can plug into his back. And then he also has this lightning effect here. But a very cool figure overall, great articulation, good likeness to Chris Hemsworth. Moving on to Black Panther, and here is how he looks up close. I have him with this uh, kind of like short spear here. You can see the detail on the handle there, and on that string. But uh, he is very, very cool. I like the uh, texture on the outfit itself, on the suit. And here is his helmeted head sculpt. Do the 360 on him. You can see the uh, detail in the outfit on the back too. And here are the feet. He also comes with this uh, kind of shield looking thing right here. And then he also comes with the unmasked, unhelmeted head sculpt. Moving on to the Justice League tactical suit Batman. Here is uh, the face sculpt that I have in there right now. That one doesn't look as much like Ben Affleck as the other face sculpt, which I'm about to show you. He also comes with uh, two different pairs of glasses. You can wear them down like this. Or, if you use this head sculpt, which again, I think looks more like Ben Affleck in the face, these glasses can sit up on the uh, brow like that. Comes with a grapple gun, comes with uh, several other accessories including batarangs, but I included this hand that kind of holds the batarang there. I actually have that other hand in right now, as you can see. Then he also comes with the uh, Parademon gun, which looks very, very cool. Kind of has a uh, metallic paint finish to it. But here is the tactical suit Batman. Some great details in this costume. Personal opinion, I think this is probably the best Batman Mezco figure that we've seen so far. Again, that's just my personal opinion. I like the armor on this one. I like the paint. I think it looks great. Does have a soft goods cape. It's kind of a uh, like a pleatherish feel to it. Moving on to this guy right here. This is Dark Side, and let me zoom out a little bit and show you the size on him. He is a very large figure. So as you can see here, the tactical suit Batman is on a flight stand here, and uh, Dark Side's almost as tall as him. Very big figure, again, he is a polystone figure. One of the cool things about this is that this cape can be removed and he can be displayed without the cape. He looks like he was ripped right out of a Jack Kirby comic book. But I think he's awesome. He feels like he has uh, metal in his legs. This also feels metallic, this cape. You can see the detail in the back of this cape here. Comes with some alternate face sculpts here. The one with the beams. This one right here, kind of smirking. And then this one showing the teeth. And then you have this one right here. There is a light up feature in the head where the uh, eyes glow red. I did not put the batteries in yet, so I can't show you what that looks like. He also comes with this here. But uh, overall, I just think he looks fantastic. I mean, look at the detail in the glove. 
in the arm, in the outfit. I just think they did a fantastic job with this figure. Moving on to Batman Beyond. I love the uh, kind of texture in the suit there. The red in the uh, Batman symbol really stands out. You can see some of the detail on the legs there. And details in the feet. And again, these wings look fantastic. They can actually be removed and you can replace it with uh, just the backpack there. And then there's the alternate face sculpt. Again, this one right here has the teeth showing. And this one right here, mouth closed. Comes with these additional batarangs as well. And moving on to the exclusive purple Catwoman. Again, I really, really like this figure. No um, problems with the brittleness of the elbows. They're perfectly articulated. No uh, fear of breaking or anything like that. But here is the little belt. Her whip. She's got a little backpack on. And there's the goggles. And the boots. She does come with a couple of additional head sculpts. There's this look right here. Kind of a classic looking Catwoman look there. And I actually really like this um, unmasked head sculpt. I like the hair. It's kind of a modern look there. And you can see the hair detail. Let's go around to the other side of the bar and check out the rest of these Mezco figures. All right, starting with Alex DeLarge from Clockwork Orange. Comes with some pretty cool accessories, including the milk, which if you saw the movie, you understand that. They drank milk. Comes with this uh, cane. And comes with this knife that uh, in the movie he pulled from the cane. And there's this head sculpt right here. And he also comes with some additional head sculpts. He's got this classic look with this mask. And he has this head sculpt with no hat, beaten up and bloodied. Very cool orange base that stands out. And the outfit itself is, uh, is white, but uh, some very good detail on it with the suspenders and a little belt there. But I would say that if you're a fan of the movie, if you're a fan of Stanley Kubrick, if you like A Clockwork Orange, this is definitely a good figure to pick up. Moving on to Ash, Bruce Campbell. That is a great Bruce Campbell face sculpt right there. He comes with the Necronomicon, the Book of the Dead there. Comes with the chainsaw to put on his hand bloodied chainsaw looking very very cool two additional head sculpts that you can actually pop in and those are this bloodied version right here and this uh, zombied version right here I do like both of these head sculpts but my favorite one is probably this one right here uh, the other accessories it comes with are this zombie head. This is an accessory. You can't plug that in. You can kind of see the, uh, the bones from the spinal column at the bottom there. He can kind of hold on to this by the teeth or by the uh, jaw. And then it also comes with this um, zombie hand with the uh, one finger salute there. And moving on to Star Trek, here is the Mirror Mirror, Evil Spock. But he does come with the phaser. Comes with the knife. The boots look very, very cool. They're shiny. Very shiny. Here's the back of the figure there. And we got two more in this Mezco haul. And this is the two pack. You got the uh, plaid zombie. You got Flyboy Zombie, and let me see if I could show you the detail on this guy here. Look at that detail. 
and the eyes, the blood, and you can see the little bite mark on his neck. These don't come with a whole lot of accessories. It was like 130 bucks for the two pack, uh, which is a pretty good deal if you ask me, considering the amount of detail. But again, not a whole lot of accessories because honestly, in the movie, they didn't really have a lot of accessories. Flyboy had this gun and that's the way that he kind of had the gun in his hand, just hanging onto it by a finger. He used his other hand to basically make himself walk. Uh, he would pick up his leg by the pants there, just grab it, and kind of pull his leg along. But there's Flyboy Zombie, and then here is Plaid Shirt Zombie. And let me show you the detail in his head. Very, very cool detail in the face on this one. And he actually has more detail in the body where that shirt is torn there. You can see the marks and the cuts in the flesh. But there you go. There's the big Mezco haul that I've been talking about for a while now. Here's uh, the Dawn of the Dead 2 pack, the Spock from Mirror Mirror, the Ash from Evil Dead 2, Alex DeLarge from A Clockwork Orange. I'm really going to focus on the non-superhero Mezcos. I really like kind of the random um, Mezcos from different movies and whatnot. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do like the superheroes a lot. But uh, there's something about these ones from these movies. Dawn of the Dead, Clockwork Orange, Evil Dead 2. Just something uh, kind of special about those. I'm going to focus a lot on the uh, this, you know, the sci-fi, the horror movies and uh, stuff like that. All right, I've got all six of my one six scale figures unboxed, unpackaged. We're gonna do a little mini showcase here. I'm gonna show you some of the accessories that some of these figures come with. And then we'll get to this guy over here at the very end. But let's get started with the Sideshow Luke. And again, at the end of this showcase, I'm actually gonna do some comparisons. So the one comparison you probably wanna see uh, is this guy next to the Hot Toys version of the Jedi Luke. But uh, let me show you this one up close. I really like this one for the Endor gear. Uh, if I was going to uh, only display it with the Jedi cloak, which he does come with right here, or the Jedi tunic, I would probably go with the Hot Toys version. I think that's a little bit better of a version. But personally, again, needed to complete the trifecta, get all three sideshows from all three movies, and then I also wanted to display him primarily in this Endor gear because I love this look from this movie from Return of the Jedi. But let me just show you this thing up close. Here is his face sculpt. Uh, the one thing that this has going for it is the fact that it is not as clean looking as a face sculpt uh, as the Hot Toys version. The Hot Toys version is almost a little too perfect looking. Uh, Luke's face had imperfections and whatnot and this really kind of shows them off. So here is the face sculpt. The eyes look really cool. There's like a shine in the eyes. I really, really like this helmet, the Endor helmet. You can see like the battle damage there. It did a great job on the sculpt of this helmet. And then it comes with the uh, Endor poncho, which looks awesome. Uh, it also comes with its own little belt there, which I've put on. He comes with um, multiple hands. Uh, you can have him ungloved, you can have him gloved. I have always loved the uh, black gloved look. I think it looks amazing. And then the lightsaber looks pretty good. So additional accessories, again, he does come with the uh, Jedi cloak. I like this cloak a little bit more because there's no wire in the hood. The Hot Toys version has a wire in the hood and it's actually kind of hard to pose at times. This one just kind of sits a little bit more flush. Um, here is one of the hands he comes with. Again, he comes with multiple hands, but I wanted to show you this one to show the detail in this one uh, where he gets uh, shot in the hand on Jabba's sail barge. You can kind of see some of the um, metallic under the flesh there. Really cool job on that hand. Here is the other head sculpt. Obviously this one, this helmet is attached to this head, so you can't remove it. So if you wanted to display him without the helmet, 
you just display them with this head sculpt and here is a close-up of the head sculpt there there's the hair so again you'll see more of this figure when I do the comparison a little bit later this is the Susu Toys Logan from Logan and there is a snarling face sculpt there look at the details and the wrinkles in the face I think the teeth look a little too clean a little too perfect but uh, I just look at the, I like the wrinkles between the eyes very very cool and there's the hair but uh, he does come with a suit and these claws they do feel metallic I think they're made of metal but they did a great job on the claws there and there's the other clawed hand and he comes with some additional hands here and then it also comes with this one which I think is pretty cool where he's just popped one claw like he's flipping the bird so kinda cool there here's the additional head sculpt that he comes with if you don't want to display the snarling teeth showing look you can display this head sculpt here and again very very cool job with the wrinkles in the brow and you can see the wrinkles under the eyes because Hugh Jackman was no spring chicken when they filmed this movie there's the base that base is awesome I love the base and then this was just a very very cool add-in here uh, in the movie Logan X-23 has a comic book from the X-Men and this actually comes with a little mini comic book so there you go Uncanny X-Men 117 there's Sauron on the cover just really really awesome that they included this and there's the back it even has like the uh, letters to the editor that's awesome this is such a very cool touch and again this is a third party company and they're doing this level of detail very very awesome on this Logan figure here is the mechanical this is freaking insane detail again for a third party company that is Josh Brolin right there look at the detail in the face and the scar under the eye just an amazing job in the uh, hair there they just knocked it out of the park with this figure again this is cable from Deadpool 2 there's his mechanical arm comes with a bunch of guns uh, I have all the guns pretty much holstered except for the rifle in his hand and that rifle is very very well done as well it actually comes in a few parts and you just put it together but look at that thing I think this one is pretty much sold out um, and he's starting to go up in price and you can see why I mean look at the detail on this thing he's got that I think that's a grenade launcher there in the holster this cape is really well done it's uh, almost like a raincoat material it's got the hood there as well but uh, just going back to the actual figure and the boots look at the boots there and the pants teddy bear just an awesome looking figure I'll show you the back here he comes with those little shells there and here is under the cape you can see the detail in the neck there with his uh, techno organic virus that he has there's another gun right there in the holster but uh, this is just an amazing figure if you can get your hands on this figure if you liked Deadpool 2 and you liked Cable if you like Josh Brolin this is a must get my personal opinion this is an absolute must get um, just they just did a fantastic job there's a standard version which I have this is the standard version there's also a deluxe version which has less uh, articulation in the head but it does have a light up eye mine does not have a light up eye I just went with the standard but um, the deluxe is a little bit more expensive because it has that light up feature but just a fan frickin tastic third party figure right here so let me go ahead and uh, go around to the other side and I'll show you these three additional 1-6 scale figures that I have and then we'll look at this guy. What?
All right, hopefully the lighting's okay on this side of the bar, but here is the Mondo He-Man figure. This thing is amazing. They did such a great job on this figure. As soon as I saw this thing solicited, I knew I wanted to get it. He's got double jointed knees. He's got little fur on the top of his boots there, if you could see that. It's like a, like a fur-like material. Great job on the sculpting on the boots there. Awesome accessories, comes with this big shield and holds on this shield like that. And just a great job on the, um, the chest thing, whatever that is called. I don't know what that's even called. <laughs> um, the chest plating, armor, whatever. There's weathering on it, which is very cool. There's the face sculpt. And then there is the sword. Very, very awesome. Uh, additional accessories that it comes with, it comes with a sword sheath right there and you can actually put that on his back, which I did not do yet. It comes with this big battle axe and again, a uh, very great detail on this battle axe. And then it comes with this short sword, I guess that's a dagger, I don't know. It's a shorter sword, but they did a good job on that as well. And he comes with a couple uh, guns, some laser guns here. So there's this one. And again, excellent detail on this. I love the paint applications. I love how they use that uh, metallic finish to it to make it look like it's metal. It's got some weight to it too. It is plastic. And then this little laser pistol here. Very cool. And then this ridiculous looking head, which I will never, <laughs> I will never uh, pose this figure with this head. I mean, that's just, that's just ridiculous looking, <laughs> but it does come with it. And uh, I guess it's supposed to be uh, reminiscent of the old uh, toy line, but yeah, I don't know who would want to pose <laughs> the figure with his head. It just looks silly. This head, much, much better. There's the back of the figure. Again, great paintwork. And the muscles and stuff, great shading. Uh, this like is made of like faux leather, so that's cool. It's got soft goods there. And there's another shot up the uh, like the fur, the fake fur at the top of the boots there. Oh, and he also comes with this dude, and I don't remember the name of this thing, but uh, there he is. If you know the name of this thing, please add it in the comments below. But he does come with it. Moving on to the two Hot Toys figures. This is Neo. A great, great face sculpt of Keanu Reeves right there. He comes with a bunch of different guns. So right now I have these guns in his hand. Um, these guns attach to a strap and they basically hang onto him like that. But there's these guns right there. And I have the other one right there. And then he also comes with these these handguns right here, these pistols, which I have tucked into the strap there. And then he comes with these, I think those are Uzis or Mac-10s. I'm not a gun guy, so I'm not sure. But he comes with those. Comes with some additional hands. Comes with a very, very cool base. Uh, like a marble looking base. Mine came with broken sunglasses, so I actually reached out to Sideshow. I have not heard back from them, so I'm getting a little worried. I reached out to them uh, over a week ago. So hopefully they could send me a replacement pair of sunglasses because Neo really needs to wear sunglasses um, to look like Neo. But yeah, this was a little disappointing. This is how they arrived. And then he comes with two M16s, which are very, very cool as well. There's the straps there. So yeah, a very, very awesome figure. Lots of posing options. You can pose him. He's got that um, that little grabber aerial uh, arm thing, so you can have him, um, you know, doing like a somersault, grabbing the machine gun. But uh, lots of posing options. Just a very very cool figure. Highly recommend it if you're a fan of Keanu Reeves or the movie The Matrix. Very cool figure there. And then last but not least, here is Civil War Hot Toys Captain America. A great, great Captain America. Not my favorite Captain America. I'll show you actually my favorite Captain America when we do the comparisons in a second here. But there's the shield. Again, this is from Civil War. As you can see the base there. There's the boots. 
This is a solid Captain America, I will say. This is a very, very good one. One of the cool things about this one, you can see the face sculpt there, is you can actually remove this part of the face from the nose to the chin. You can actually pull that entire piece out and swap it out with this kind of snarling look to make it look like he's actually fighting or battling. He also comes with this very, very good, very accurate Chris Evans unmasked head sculpt right there. Look at that. But there you go. Those are my six, one six scale hot toys in this mega haul for episode 300. Let's go ahead and check this guy out over here. All right, so this right here is a sideshow premium format statue. This is a quarter scale size statue, as you could see. This is a six inch figure right here. Shazam, so you can kind of see how large this thing is. He is very, very large. And then this here is a 12 inch scale figure that you just saw, there's cable. And again, this thing is huge. And again, what this is, is it's a resin statue with limited articulation, almost no articulation. I mean, you can turn the wrist like that, but it's a statue. Uh, one of the cool things about these premium format figures is that it has soft goods. So the entire uniform here, the entire Bespin uniform is soft goods. This belt feels like actual leather, not even fake leather, but actual leather. Uh, but there is the Bespin outfit. One of the things that I noticed is, you know, by the time he gets to Bespin, um, he has been on Dagobah, so he's dirty. This outfit of his is dirty. And one of the cool things is if you look closely, you can actually see dirt and grime and like a green hint to it, like he's been in a swamp. If you look at the pocket there, just a very, very awesome, awesome job that the Sideshow did on this premium format statue. There's the head sculpt, great likeness to Mark Hamill. Uh, but there you go, yeah, this is a, a very, very awesome statue. The base is cool. The base does not light up. I thought the base lit up, but kind of recreates the whole carbon freezing chamber on Bespin. But let me just show you this thing. One of the cool things about this is that there's a little switch on the lightsaber, and if you push down on it, I already put batteries in his arm, but watch this. The lightsaber actually lights up. So <laughs> just a really, really cool look there. That's awesome looking. Very awesome. It runs on, I think it was AAA batteries is what I put in there. But um, he's got the gun. If you get the uh, deluxe version, it actually comes with an alternate hand that you can plug in there. This The hands are kind of magnetized. So you can actually plug in a hand to hold that uh, that blaster. I didn't get that. I got the standard version of the premium format figure. So um, basically you just keep that blaster holstered there. But there's his back. Just really, really cool. These are very pricey. These are very expensive. I only have two uh, premium format statues in my entire collection. This is the second one. The first one is a Batman that I've had for years. But um, I figure if I'm going to spend money on a premium format statue, it might as well be one of my favorite characters and one of my favorite looks of that character. I thought Bespin Luke was the uh, the perfect choice for a premium format figure. I don't know why they call it a figure. It's it's really a statue. But there you go. Sideshow premium format Bespin Luke Skywalker. But uh, let's get to comparisons. So I will see you in just a second and uh, we'll do some comparisons. All right, it is comparison time and I pulled out some figures to compare. So let's start over here first. This is the Sideshow Luke Skywalker with the Endor gear on. And I have him next to the Hot Toys version. So as you can see, the Hot Toys version is a much cleaner look. You can uh, clearly tell the difference in the head sculpts here between the Hot Toys version and the Sideshow version. Let me just hold up the head sculpts to show you the difference. So this is the Sideshow head sculpt, Hot Toys head sculpt. Show from a different angle there. I don't really have an opinion on these. I, I think that they both work. I like my Hot Toys version. I like him with that cloak. 
kind of uh, with that same look when he first entered Jabba's palace. But I really, really like this Endor version. Here is the uh, what I was talking about with the difference in the pants. These pants look like they're a lot more tight and form-fitting versus these that look a little bit more loose. So the boots, a little bit different as well. You can see those boots versus these boots here. So I guess you decide if you want a uh, version that comes with three different looks where you can have him with this cloak on, with that tunic on, or you can just have him with his Endor gear on, has the two head sculpts. Go for the sideshow version. If you want something that's more specific to a scene, I would go with the Hot Toys version. I personally like them both. Some people don't like the sideshow. I like it. But uh, there you go. There's the comparison between the Hot Toys version and the sideshow Jedi Luke. All right, here is a comparison that I pulled here uh, with the Susu Toys Logan figure. First of all, I have him next to this third-party X-23 figure. To show you that difference. I have him next to this other version of the Logan from the Logan movie. This one is made by a sculptor named Eleven. And this is his version. I really like that head sculpt. It's got the cigar in his mouth. But that's a very, very good version of Logan as well. And then I have this right here, which is the Quicksilver, also by Susu Toys. Just to show you these two figures that are made by the same company. But there you go. That's a pretty cool comparison there. I really love the Logan movie. I do love the Fox X-Men movies, most of them. But um, I really like this Susu Toys Logan right here. I think it looks great. And moving on to Cable, so I took off his little cape there, so you can see a little bit more detail under the cape, and you can see the detail of that gun, that gun is ridiculous, and there's his buddy, there's Deadpool, good old Wade, and I love this pose right here, this is very, very cool, so this is the Hot Toys Deadpool from the first Deadpool movie, I never got the uh, Hot Toys version from the second movie, um, I'm thinking about the, the gray one, the dirty one, that's an exclusive. I think that one looks pretty good. And I think that would look good posed with old cable here. But I uh, just wanted to show you just a little bit of a different pose without the cape on for cable. Again, I think they did such an amazing job with this figure and this head sculpt. Very, very awesome. All right, this one right here, the Mondo He-Man. This is more of a size comparison than anything. I pulled out my Motu Classics He-Man just to show you the difference in size between the Mondo and the Motu Classics. I mean, this one looks tiny compared to the Mondo version, but uh, very, very cool there. And there is the ridiculous head sculpt once again. But there's that comparison. I didn't really have a comparison for Neo. Um, I will, though, when I do finally get the John Wick figure, pose them both next to each other and you'll see the comparison for that. Uh, I still have not heard back from Sideshow on those broken sunglasses, so I am a bit worried. Uh, hopefully they do send me a replacement pair of those sunglasses. If not, I guess I'll have to buy one. But uh, it just kind of sucks because I literally opened up the package and those things were split in half and one of the arms was only halfway there, so... I couldn't even put him on his face, but uh, I still love this figure. I think it's an amazing looking figure, an excellent face sculpt for Keanu Reeves there. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the John Wick Hot Toys figure, and I'm looking forward to the John Wick uh, Mezco figure too. And then here's the last comparison with my 1-6 scale figures. I have Cap. I switched out that little uh, face plate there, so he's got the little snarling look there. And I have him standing next to Bucky, his best bud, Winter Soldier. I think they look great together. Uh, and again, this is um, an excellent Captain America figure. It's not my favorite one, though. My favorite one is this one right here. This is the Infinity War version. I just think this thing looks amazing. Um, the whole thing looks great. From the weathering on the actual uniform itself, the shields look really, really awesome. Just the whole thing. The presentation is perfect with this Infinity War cap. Head sculpt is great. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you those two side by side because basically he went from this look in one movie 
to this look. Civil War to Infinity War. And there's the difference in the bases there as well. So there you go. There is my uh, comparison for these one sixth scale figures. I did open up uh, a lot of the figures you saw earlier in the video. Let's go ahead and take a look at those up close now. All right, I unboxed these Marvel Legends, Transformers, and other stuff, which you'll see in just a second. And let's go ahead and take a look at them. So first things first, here is the Batista. And I want to show you these tattoos on this guy because they are quite well done, very intricate. Let's take a look at this. Pretty crazy the amount of detail that they put into this $20 figure here. And there's more tattoos on the arm. On the forearm, there appears to be some writing there. And he's got more tattoos on his leg there. So pretty freaking cool. I understand why it doesn't come with any accessories other than the uh, elbow pads and knee pads, but uh, they did a great job on that Batista figure. I am looking forward to his match with Triple H at WrestleMania. Also looking forward to this guy's match at WrestleMania. Hopefully he wins the title. But this is Kofi Kingston. And he comes with that red, white, and blue vest and the pants. I noticed that uh, he did have some pretty funny uh, ice cream New Day details on his pants there. And I like the shoes a lot. I like the wings on those shoes. It's a cool touch. But here is Kofi. There's his hair. Oh, and down goes Batista. Which is probably what's going to happen at WrestleMania. Alright, here are some Marvel Legends. Here is Grey Gargoyle. Just want to show you the detail on this with a little speckled effect that they use to kind of simulate the fact that he is made of stone. Very cool there. Here is Nick Fury from Captain Marvel and there's Goose. Goose the cat, the flurkin. But uh, here is Nick Fury, pretty good figure there. Here is the Captain Marvel that does not come with the bath piece. It's the regular Captain Marvel from the wave. She does come with the uh, unmasked, unhelmeted face sculpt there. And some extra hands. Here is Talos, the scroll. Looking very, very cool. He doesn't come with any accessories either, but uh, he's got a pretty well done outfit there. That like coat slash cape. And there's the face sculpt. Ben Mendelsohn, great actor once again. So there is Talos, the shapeshifter, and here's another shapeshifter, here is Mystique. And they did an awesome job on this figure, I love this figure. Very very cool, you can see the little skulls on her belt. And she comes with, here's the Lilandra head. And here is the half rogue, half Mystique head. Very cool. And look at that! I have almost a full Cree Sentry Build-A-Figure, but you know what? Spoiler alert, I'm filming this a couple days after the initial footage. Look what I found. So now I have a full Cree Sentry, so I'm going to go ahead and take that guy out of box after we're done filming and complete my Cree Sentry and he won't have to balance on one leg anymore. <laughs> Moving on to the Transformers, here is Soundwave. And here's what I'm talking about with the uh, weathering. I mean, this thing looks insanely cool. I really, really love this uh, Transformers Siege line. I think they're doing such a great job with it. But uh, here he is. This is probably my second favorite sound wave in my entire collection. Um, probably my second favorite sound wave that has ever been produced. My first, obviously, is my uh, Masterpiece sound wave. But, I mean, this is such a great job for, what was this, 25 bucks? They did a great job with this. As they did with this one as well, the Starscream. Again, more weathering on the bot there on his arms. And on the uh, torso. Very, very cool. And the fact that he transforms into a Tetrajet is just really, really awesome. 
So yes, I love the Siege line. Here is the uh, Optimus Prime that I already have. I just wanted to uh, put that there to show you size comparisons. This is my second favorite Optimus Prime in my collection. First, obviously, is MP10 Masterpiece Optimus Prime, but these Siege bots, I cannot recommend these enough. They are doing such a great job on these, so if you're thinking about getting back into Transformers or thinking about getting into Transformers for the first time, now is the time to do it because these Siege bots are perfect. All right, and these you did not see in this haul, but I did pick these up on a previous video, and I said that I was going to unbox these, and I did. So I wanted to show you what these things look like up close. These are Mythic Legions figures. This is, I think is I forgot his name, I think it's Brother Mandibulus or something. Just a really, really awesome looking figure. But there is that Mythic Legions figure, and then here is that Goblin. That really reminds me of um, a figure from the old Dungeons and Dragons line. These Mythic Legions figures are just loaded, loaded with detail and paint apps. I mean, they are just so well done. They are pricey though, so just be aware of that. Here's the guy that looks like Gimli from Lord of the Rings. And look at that shield. Again, the, the paint on these things. I mean, look at this hammer and the, like the wash, the dark wash on the gold looks so good. Uh, same with the sword that he comes with. Look at that. Very cool. He also comes with this little axe and then this crown. Look at the fur. I really, really recommend these Mythic Legions figures. They're very original, very well done. They remind me of characters from Dungeons & Dragons, which just makes me appreciate them more. But they're so very, very cool. So. There's some Mythic Legions figures that I recently picked up. Here's a Goro that I also recently picked up that I unboxed. So I wanted to show you this guy. He is huge. Let me show you the size on him. Look at that. And uh, one of the things I didn't even know he came with are these like fireball effects. It's like a green translucent plastic, but it's in the shape of his fist. You can see that there. So very awesome. Comes with its own little stand. So yeah, you can have Goro. Shooting little fireballs, little green fist fireballs, fire fists. But uh, really cool there. And then uh, here is Slaughter's Marauders Footloose. I said that I was going to show him with some of his other Slaughter's Marauders brothers. So here are the Renegades. There's Red Dog, Taurus, and Mercer. And man, I love the blue and the green mixed together. Such a cool look. I love the Slaughter's Marauders colors. So there's Footloose right there. So there you go guys. This is the uh, end of the haul. What I'm going to do now is to go over some post office pickups. I received some gifts in the mail. I received a package. I'm not, still not sure what's inside of it. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, open up some stuff. Hey what's up everyone. So I received some packages in the mail and I figured that this is a very, very good time to share these packages. Uh, some of these I've already opened, uh, some I have not opened yet. But uh, I've had these, some of these for a couple weeks now, but I wanted to save them for a special episode like this one, episode 300, um, because these are all very special to me. So first things first, I want to uh, give some shout outs. Uh, first one is to uh, Matt Waitman. He sent me a very, very nice letter. And there's his Instagram right there if you want to follow Matt. But Matt, surprised the crap out of me with uh, a ton of these Mega Constructs He-Man sets. So I, if you watch my videos when I'm in uh, Walmart and whatnot, you'll see that I always kind of um, go very slowly whenever I see these things because I want to take a look at these. But uh, I haven't pulled the trigger on them yet and I'm kind of glad I didn't because uh, Matt sent me a ton of these things. So he sent me this Mega Constructs Wind Raider, which looks fantastic. Uh, this is going to be a project uh, on a weekend day when uh, the girls are putting together their Legos. And now I have something to put together too. So, very, very cool. Mega Constructs Wind Raider. And then just a ton of these Mega Constructs little minifigures. So, there's Tila. Very awesome. And there is Faker. And there is Beast Man. And Man at Arms. And there is Evil Lynn. Matt, 
you freaking killed it, man, on this. And the reason why I can't stop smiling is because I literally felt like a kid on Christmas morning when I was opening these. Skeletor, right there. And then the man himself, last but not least, is He-Man. So, Matt, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate this. And uh, this is going to be a very, very fun weekend day build project. But uh, Matt is from Lima, so uh, I'm sure we'll run into each other at a store uh, or a con sooner or later. I was supposed to go to the uh, Columbus Toy Show today. Today's Sunday, by the way. Uh, but I could not make it because uh, Mrs. Cincy, myself, and the girls are going to be going to a Great Wolf Lodge, which is like an indoor water park resort. Uh, and we're going there for the next two days since the girls are on spring break. So there you go. But um, thank you again, Matt. This is freaking phenomenal. I really appreciate it. Also, I got a letter here from uh, Rebel 10 Customs. So let me read this real quick. Uh, this says, Dear Cincy, greetings from Northeast Ohio. So a couple Ohioans in the house here. Me and my husband have been watching your YouTube channel for almost three years now. That's very awesome that you've been watching so long and it's kind of appropriate that we're doing this on this uh, anniversary episode. But it says, uh, we appreciate what you do for the toy community. You bring great entertainment to people who tune into your channel and we always anticipate any new videos you post. Thank you so much. Just reading that and hearing that um, is the reason why I continue to make these videos. Uh, so I really appreciate hearing that. Uh, as a token of our thanks, I would like to give you these items for your collection. I hope you'll like it, especially since you had the Marvel Legends The Thing as one of your top figures for 2018. The second custom tailored cloak is for the SH Figure Arts Anakin Skywalker. I made each of these items myself and I hope you get to enjoy them. Please continue to make new videos. We appreciate you, P Dog, Tay Tay, and Mrs. Cincy very much. Sincerely, Christina. So awesome letter. Thank you so much. Uh, her Instagram right here, and I'm going to show you these custom creations in just a second, but I wanted to share her information. If you want to reach out to Christina and have her make you something yourself. Uh, but um, here is the custom trench coat that can be worn by the thing. I'm also gonna try this out on um, Raphael, my uh, NECA Turtles Raphael. I think that would look really good on him uh, since he wore that in the Turtles movie. So she sent me this. This is custom made. <laughs> look at that. Very, very awesome. And then there's a little hat there too. Little top hat. And then this is the one that she was talking about uh, as far as being made for the SH Figure Arts Anakin. I don't have that figure, so maybe I'll go ahead and buy that figure now since I have this awesome Jedi robe. That is very, very cool. can't believe she made this. Some people are so freaking talented, honestly. Um, I don't know how to make a damn thing. <laughs> Anytime someone makes something for me, uh, I just, it just blows my mind. And then I think those are like cigars there, so she sent that too, but... This is awesome, Christina, thank you so much. This is amazing, really appreciate it. And speaking of people that make things, I got this gigantic tube from Jim Valenti. This is uh, a drawing which I have not looked at, but he's uh, been asking me, did you see it? Did you get it? Did you see it? Did you get it? Um, I have not seen it yet. So this is a first time unveiling of this drawing that Jim made for me. And hold on one second, let me get it out of here. All right, so you guys are gonna see this at the same time as me for the first time. Oh my God, <laughs> holy crap, that is insane. Good Lord. So there is Castle Grayskull, Skeletor, Trapjaw, He-Man, Ram Man, and Man-at-Arms. That's insane. Look at how big this is. So this is freaking awesome. Um, I gotta frame this. This is freaking amazing. Jim, thank you so much for doing this. This is crazy. Uh, and that's gonna look very, very awesome uh, next to my new Motu display uh, because we're moving here, I guess in the next few months. Um, and I'm gonna have Castle Grayskull out. I'm gonna have my he-Man stuff out. I'm probably going to pose my mythics with my He-Man stuff like uh, Craig does, like Narc does. So um, this is going to look fantastic. Th I just got to show this off one more time. This is freaking amazing. Look at this. That's awesome. Jim, thank you so much. You guys are freaking killing it. And then uh, I just got this box in. So let me go ahead and put this stuff down and I'll open this box and show you what's inside here. All right, so... 
I got this box in. This is from Sean March. Uh, I'm not sure what's in here. I got a uh, message on Facebook that said, uh, keep an eye on your P.O. box. Let me take this off of here so it's not shaking the camera. It said, take a look at your P.O. box because I sent you some stuff. So um, I'm not sure what it is, but let's find out. Box is open. What is this? All right, so let's see what this is. There is, there's a little Spider-Man guy in here. Little Spider-Man guy. And, oh wow. So there's a, whoa, that is bright. <laughs> there's a very bright LED light. Oh, it's blinking too. Hopefully no one's having a seizure right now. <laughs> this appears to be part of a diorama. So um, this is the first piece. Let me uh, open up the rest of these pieces and see what this is all about. All right, so here's the second piece. That looks like a bar. Is that the, f is this the nerd bar? <laughs> That looks like a bar. Hold on. What? <laughs> this is crazy. Oh my gosh, hold on. I gotta be very careful with this. This is crazy. Oh. <gasps> so look at this. There's the door. That's the door I'm looking at right now. And it's got... Oh my God, this is crazy. It's got that, which is there. It's got these bottles, which are right there. This is insane. And it's got the little cabinet, which I have right there. Oh my gosh, and, and look at the bottles. There's Slapshot Toys, the Foxy For Real, and Josh Pence right there. You recreated this room. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hold on. So that right there. Look at that. This is insane. All right, and then there's another box in here. So let me open this up. What? So the first thing I saw, it says Luke on Tauntaun. So here's some small little bottles here, and they're all like, there's Slapshot Toys, there's Josh's channel. It says the Syndicate on that one. This is crazy. This is that right there. So I don't have any dioramas, um, really. And I've always wanted one. And uh, you know, I've seen the ones that like NECA has put out like the street scene. Oh my gosh. Oh. <gasps> so there's Luke on Tauntaun. <laughs> um, this is crazy. So I've always, again, I've always wanted a diorama and I've never gotten one. So the fact that I not only have one, um, there's a little cabinet there. There's the little sink right over there. The fact that my first diorama is this place where I've spent so much time on this channel at is crazy. It's just awesome. <sighs> I'm gonna get sentimental here because I might not be at this nerd bar for much longer. All right, so Sean did include a letter here and I'm gonna read it and there's pictures there which I'll show you up close. It says, hey Cincy, my name is Sean and I'm a longtime collector of vintage and new figures and toys. I'm also a subscriber to your channel and the Nerd Bar on Facebook, so join the Nerd Bar if you haven't already. I have to say I really enjoy your videos and the positivity you bring to YouTube and Facebook. I was watching your channel a while back when you mentioned that you would be moving soon and that you were going to miss your Nerd Bar. That just so happened to be right at a time when I was looking for a new project to take on. I enjoy building models and making custom figures and collectibles for my collection. I don't sell them or do commissions. I just like to try things I haven't done before and I've never made a full-blown diorama. I'm so freaking honored that this is your first diorama that you made because I'm looking at the pictures of this thing and it's in freaking sane. 
Enclosed you will find my attempt at a little 1 12th piece of the Midwest you can take with you when you journey west. I didn't include instructions, but I'm certain you can figure out how it goes together. It's far from perfect, but for a first try, I was really pleased with how it turned out. If you like it, then that will make me happy, but if you don't, no worries. Maybe you can do a giveaway or just let the girls have it. It does have magnets and small parts, so keep away from smaller children. Uh, I included batteries for the light and a few small scale figures to display with a few Easter eggs for your friends and fellow YouTubers. I had to make a couple changes due to space constraints and added a few extra items. Sorry the door to the inner sanctum opens the wrong direction. Dude, I'm not, I'm not at all worried about that. No need to be sorry. Uh, and by the way, not to be selfish or anything, but I'm not giving this thing away. This is mine forever. Uh, I made it mostly out of things I had around the house already, but sadly I didn't have any 1 12th bar stools. Uh, keep up the good work and best of luck on your upcoming adventures in Texas. Peace, Sean March, Indianapolis, Indiana. So he did put some instructions at the bottom. It says put second magnet on back of door to hold sign. Uh, this is crazy. Let me show you the pictures of this thing. So this is the nerd bar. This is Sean's custom diorama of the nerd bar. Look at this. If I was to say that I'm blown away by this, it's literally the understatement of the year. This is insane. I always get sad when I think about leaving Ohio and leaving the friends behind, but also leaving this amazing man space that I've had for the last six years. So the fact that I can actually take the nerd bar with me and have it with me forever is just amazing. So thank you so much. This is fantastic. I'm gonna put this thing together and uh, show you what it looks like at the end of this video. I guess that'll end this video. That'll end the big episode 300. I guess I just gotta say thank you. Uh, thank you so much. I'm blown away by this. Um, thank you to everyone that sent me something. This is crazy. I, I've probably said this is crazy like 15 times now already. But uh, um, this is a good time to sign off this video. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. This was a long episode. If you're a long time viewer of this channel and you've watched for all of 300 episodes, thank you. If this is your first time watching this channel and you stuck through the hour long episode, thank you. But um, that's it for now. So check out future episodes. I already have a box of stuff that I'm gonna be sharing in my next uh, video. I didn't wanna to add to this uh, episode, but I have a box, another haul. Uh, of stuff that I'm looking at right now, which I'm really excited about. So that's it for now. Enjoy some pictures of the Nerd Bar. Thanks for joining me. Episode 300. Adios for now.